before we get started, man, make sure everybody, everybody and their mama, make sure y'all go check out that Panther. It's a movie called Panther. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. Some of your favorite actors in it. It's real low key. And it's a good movie to give you a perspective on how this GOV did to to break loose the um, the foundation of black communities forming and being together. But uh, we finna get on some fuck shit right now. Because there's a lot of fuck shit going on. A whole lot of it. And me personally, I be tired of it. I've been tired of it for a long time. <clears throat> like these idols that y'all claim, these uh, icons that y'all claim. Ain't never did nothing for us. Period. Do y'all understand that when our grandparents was growing up, they leaders was actually doing stuff for them to get stuff. It's the reason we got welfare and shit today. Like that, like like it, it was a lot of stuff that the GOV wasn't giving black people, period. Period. <clears throat> but a lot of our leaders, like like X and them and all them Khalid. A lot of our uh, uh, activists had to step in and make moves, get into politics all the time. But nowadays, we don't we don't think about politics. We don't think about it at all. We think about all this foolery, all these fools we call icons and look up to. But I'm gonna read I'm, before I get started for real. I'm gonna read these verses, and I want y'all to remember keep these, keep these verses in mind because we're gonna get on this shit. Joshua twenty three fifteen say, therefore it shall come to pass. That as all good things are come unto you, which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things until he hath destroyed you from all the good land which the Lord your God hath given you. So this right here, Joshua 23, 15, let you know that God creates good and evil. He He brings you good and evil in his will. So when y'all see when, when y'all see evil stuff happen or bad stuff happen, don't be talking about that's the devil. Don't because according to the Bible, according to Joshua 23, 15, and this is not my opinion. I'm not plagiarizing none. According to this Bible, it's a God promises evil and good. And he's going to until you're destroyed off this land. So let's go to another verse. There's a big contradiction in it. It says, Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from evil and do good. And dwell from ever forevermore. So depart from evil. Hmm. How could you depart from evil if God brings you good and evil? You see what I'm saying? But see, then here, here comes the mix of your Christians saying free will. You get free will. So if you get free will, then that means you have a little, a little more power over God. God don't know what you're going to do. He's pretty much just put you here. You choose your own path. But. In Joshua, it say God brings you your good and your evil. It, it, God knows you from before you was in your mother's womb. That's the that's the whole message that God is omnipresent and He knows exactly what's going on. There's nothing that He don't know. There's nothing you gonna do in your life that He don't know or put you through. So how can you have free will? I don't. That's why I say I don't understand that at all. Proverbs fifteen three. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding evil and the good. You see what I'm saying? So he, his eyes are in every place, beholding, which means while some evil is happening, God is watching. And he's allowing it. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Yeah, all right. <coughs> I don't go for everybody. But while evil is going on, the eyes of God. Are beholding. That don't mean he watching and wait till the evil is done. He waiting to punish. No, he's allowing it. Leviticus twenty six one. This this one of my favorites. You shall make you no idols, nor graven images. Neither rear you up a standing image. You shouldn't have no standing images. Neither shall you set up in any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God. So this basically saying you ain't supposed to have no images of, of, of a God or nothing. So Deuteronomy talk about it too. The graven images of their God shall be burned. Even, you know, God, God going to burn them. He going he gonna to send them to the state if they, if they, um, if they got uh, images. 
And any, any image they got, he's going to burn the image with fire. They shall not desire the silver and gold on them. So th these are the verses that I'm going to kind of elaborate on. Because in this community, for some reason, we feel like we don't need to say nothing bad about black people. But at the same time, there's nothing that I can say or do that's going to do worse than what this society has done to black people. And what this country has done to black people. So I think a lot of our black people, especially men, are very weak nowadays. They don't think about power and government. They think being tough is being gangster or being able to speak your mind or uh, being able to have a few dollars in your pocket. They're not thinking about trade, commerce, political views, uh, controlling counties, controlling districts, controlling cities. Controlling, uh, you know, your your life, your lifestyle. A lot of our young brothers and, and sisters are not thinking about that at all. Older ones, too. Because we so caught up in religion and entertainment. And, 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 and when it comes down to religion, if you really step outside of it like I did, you will understand the contradictions within Christianity. And you will figure out that you don't need religion to find to have God. God is already in you. So when you step outside these religions and you look into them from the outside looking in, you can see the manipulation in them. You can see the control in them. You can see the, the shady side of it. Y'all got to understand this duality in everything. It's good and bad in everything. You see what I'm saying? Water is good for you, but too much of it will kill you. You know, everything is, everything is bad. You know what I'm saying? You can have one nail. But if you got a hundred of them, they can kill you. You know what I'm saying? Anything, any and everything can be bad. So when you think about religion, you can't, as a human being, you can't just sit there and think that it's just all good. Think about all the homosexuality that goes on. Let's, let's just be real right now. Think about all the homosexuality that goes on in church. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, according to the scripture, your God is allowing it. He's allowing this. God is allowing this. He's doing this. So in the book, it'll say one thing is an abomination, but on the flip side, he'll, he'll allow it. Just like it say, thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not steal, but we got colonization and armies. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not do all this. Thou shalt, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we, we, we've been colonized. That's, that's no mystery. That's no, you know what I'm saying? Like people, people had to understand that being colonized mean that you was already in control of some shit. It was some shit already going on. Some people just came over and usurped the power from you. They kind of uh, over immigrated and did some grimy shit and took over the power, kind of manipulated their way in. And it's highway robbery. Highway robbery. That's what's going on. That's why black people really don't have no wealth in this country. Because the, 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 the indigenous people of this country were not supposed to get the wealth. The wealth was, was, was supposed to be for these foreigners. And they send that money back home. Why do y'all think this U.S. government sends so much money back to these European countries? Because that's where they're from. They send the money back to mama. But the indigenous people here, the, the, the black people, so-called black people here, we ones that suffer the most. Along with some of the citizens, you know, that, that's sprinkled in and all that. But for the most part... On a, on a political scale, on a power scale, we don't have none no more. All that's been took from us. And we don't we don't look for power no more because we're looking for him. We're looking for this guy right here. We look, we're looking in the sky. We think he got the power. He got control. Almighty. All this. All powerful. All this. All. But people, I, I just don't, I just don't understand if. If it's all powerful, all omnipresent like that, all that, and all this stuff going on, why is there so much confusion amongst people? Why, am, if, if it's real, <coughs> Damn. why am I confused? Why is a non-believer confused? Why would he create you to be confused? Why would he create you to go to hell, so to speak? Why would he hate you to be a non-believer? If this man created you, 
Why would he create you to be a non-believer in him? You got to think about that, man. That's real shit. It's not my choice to... <coughs> it's not my choice to not believe. It's uh, uh, me studying. And it's a conclusion I come to. I didn't just wake up one day like, man, man, forget Christianity. I, ain't gonna... I woke up and started researching shit for years. I actually went back and forth with it. I was on for a minute, then off. Then I was on, you know, I was on it. Then it got to a certain point where it's like, man, just leave it, leave with it. And I, I, I finally realized that it's a lifestyle. Christianity is just a lifestyle. Any other religion, it's just religion. It's just a lifestyle. But there is a dark side of it. Now, peep, peep game. Why do you think they got images of a God if the Bible say you ain't supposed to have no image? And why every time you look at his image, you see a white guy. I'm just being real. Now, we have to realize that this guy in this picture is not Jesus. But if you was to say Jesus to anybody, subconsciously, they're going to think about this image. They're going to see this image. So, when it comes to Jesus, when you say Jesus, period, people think about this image. Because when you see a, a, a white dude with long hair, Walk into a room or walk anywhere, a white dude with long hair and his and his hair hang down on his shoulders, you're going to say he looked like Jesus. Because subconsciously, this image has been drilled into our head as God. That's Jesus. That's So I say that to say this. We as the indigenous people, the black people, foreigners brought this God over here, gave us this God. So now we, the new generations who didn't know no better, we just been taught this shit growing up. We look at this image as God. So what do you think we feel or how do you think we look at white people? <coughs> why do you have some, why do you think you got some black people think that black people need to be extinct or that we wouldn't have none without white people? Why do you think some black people think white people smart? And, and, and they wealthy, and they this, they that. White white people up here, black people down here. White people up here. And why do you think Darwin and all these scientists can get away with talking about, oh, we out of Africa, and this this the modern man? Uh, all this inferiority, all this talk. Why do y'all think they can say all that? Because they justifying it by saying that a God in the sky, this image they done gave you, Wrote this down in this book. He wrote all this stuff down in this book. They they have really fooled the world, prophesizing themselves as the controllers of the world. If that if that makes sense to anybody, pe ones that's gonna peep it, they gonna peep it. Cause we we too caught up on sports and you know basketball and rappers and what Diddy them did, what what LeBron them did. Uh, what Carmelo? We know we caught we caught up in just everything, but the distraction. And the distraction is to keep you from thinking about politics and government, who your mayor is, who your who your town uh, alderman is, who this that, because we don't have that much black leadership, and we need more. We need way more black leadership, and I ain't talking about no hoodlums up in the elite. I'm talking about real dignified. Integrity based black people. We need more of our entrepreneurs to step up. We need more everything. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a lot of needs within our community that we need, but we so distracted from power, we don't understand that we need it. You only got very few that understand that we need it, and them the ones that become mayors and entrepreneurs. But it's very few of them. They become black sheep after a while. But we need more. We need to raise our children to understand power and politics and stop thinking about some man in the sky going to come save us. And and, and and to speak about that, what is he... Just, just, let's just be real. When when Jesus so, supposes to come back, what is he saving us from? <coughs> what is he saving us from? Taxes? Low wages? Fake food, a crooked government, 
Where is he saving us from? That's what I'm uh, like. That's that's as I get older and I get wiser. That's a that's one of the main questions I ask a lot of Christians. What are y'all waiting for? What 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 is he supposed to come do? But when you talk to Hebrew Israelites, they claim they coming back to kill all white people. They they claim he coming back for Esau. He gonna kill all. He gonna come back and kill all white people. But then you talk to Christians. You know, he just going to come back and get all his people, all his chosen people. The rapture, everybody going to heaven, those who going to heaven going, those who ain't, they ain't going. Which is a contradiction in itself, because like I said earlier, God the one who created you. So how come the person going to create you to go to hell? He going to make you in his image to be confused and go to hell. Y'all got to understand that this stuff is just, it's just a lifestyle. There's there's no, there's no literal man in the sky. That's that, just like believing in Santa Claus. There's no literal man swooping around blessing people. This is life. Life got blessings. Life got curses. These are words that we have came up with as, as men and women to classify certain shit and identify certain shit. Just to put a name on something. You know, we, we people, we love putting a name on something. So when you hear somebody talking about they blessed or they cursed or, or anything, it's natural. It's just natural. We all blessed. But that don't mean some heavenly man then favored you. Because, <coughs> be honest, the reason that... <coughs> the reason I'm going to start digging deep into this because it's a reason why... The Jews, the uh, the white Jews. No offense to y'all, you know. Don't cut my video off, nothing. But I think it's a reason why they don't want too many people to claim that they Jews. Cause you're gonna start digging in there, and finding the contradictions. You're gonna start finding out that this stuff really ain't even what it, you know. This stuff is just them. This is their way to justify their power. And this their way to stay in power. Y'all gotta understand, us as people, we've been here for a long time. We've been here as people for a long time. It ain't just been no 6,000 years. That's the lie they told you to make you make it seem like this shit recent. We've been here for a long time. And we have been through so many power structures and systems that we have got to this point where we can, you know, we can just figure out how to run what we call governments. And the governments are really about the people, what the people want. But these people have figured out how to run a government but they figured out how to buy the government out to where now it's not even a country. It's a corporation. Everything about the dollar. Everything about numbers. They don't even give a fuck about it. everything. Is just, we just bodies now. We just, we, we collateral now. So we need to change that. We need to, we need to get back to not being bought. We don't need to have a number no more. Should nobody be able to buy you? I think that's something that needs to die out now. We need to go back to being natural humans. You gonna have to you got to meet our needs for our people first before we talk about a check. You got to meet the needs of what my mom and my cousins and my and this and what that need before we talk about a check. You gotta you gotta talk be, be, be talking about some good shit. And I'm talking about brother to brother, not brother talking to a European. Cause I don't know, I don't under, I don't understand black people for real. I don't know how long we're gonna be asking. White people for cha uh, for change. You know we're gonna be doing that forever, and that's that's a big reason for these graven images in this this Bible, and and a white God. You always gonna look at white people to you gonna act. Please, can y'all you know? We need we need some help. <coughs> the whole time they just people just like me and you. But they've switched God, the image of God, to make you see the image of God within them. Mm. Let me say that again. They done switched the image of God so that you see the image of God within them. That's why they still got power in politics. Everything. The movie industry, music industry, food industry, any type of corporate industry. They usurped it in the 1800s. Straight up. Civil War, Reconstruction, they was usurping. The Ku Klux Klan was running crazy, killing all uh, African-American, uh, American Indian uh, business owners, killing them. 
all the business owners, preachers, uh, activists, community leaders. The Ku Klux Klan was the Ku Klux Klan had a, a hit list for certain important black people and white people to get out the way so that this type of government we got today can thrive all over the country. Real shit. And you know one thing about the Ku Klux Klan? The Ku Klux Klan used the same God you use. Same cross. Same image. Same name. Same book. And they the Ku Klux Klan. And, and you know what they specialize in? Killing. Destroying. Stealing. Steal, kill, destroy. And they use that book. They use... They use the justification of what that book say to do what they had to do. So you can't tell me that that book wasn't orchestrated by some ca Caucasians. <coughs> now the book, the knowledge in the book, ain't no doubt in my mind that that, book, that knowledge come from black folks. And a mixture of all type of people all over the world, Asian, black India, whatever. That's all, all type of people all over the world. And a lot of that knowledge was in ancient Egypt. And that's where they get it from. And they just kind of kind of made, made their own version of it. Jabari them just did a debate where got the guy explained clearly. He kind of told on himself through the whole shit. Because they he kind of explained that uh, the Europeans, they got Christianity from uh, 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 various different places. All type of different books. They put it together and just made something. A lot of it was from Egypt. And if it wasn't directly from Egypt, the people they got it from probably got it from Egypt. But but Caucasian, European white people made their own version of religion. They had a they 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 got a field of different denominations. That's what they fought over for thousands of years. If you go back and study the Dark Ages and all that, the Crusades, that's what they was fighting over. Religion. Whose religion going to be on top? But in reality, it was all about whose lifestyle and whose government going to be on top. And they brought that right over here. And the first thing they brought in was missionaries. Missionaries. Preachers. Get you to, get you to really believe that it's somebody up there that has sent them to you. Good, good game. That's some good game. So until we really fall back and understand what this religion what this religion shit is for, then we ain't we, we, we really ain't gonna understand why we need to get back in power. Cause if y'all just waiting on the Lord, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get in no power. We need power. We need we need control of our school systems. We need control of our own. <coughs> I would really love to see. European Americans control the North, New York, all that, you know, Canada, Dakota, all that. Then as far as the West Coast and the South, that need to be us. That need to be us. All the businesses, corporations, all the jobs, all the, uh, the, the, the government officials, mayors, aldermen, all that need to be us. Within the whole state and counties that we're living in. So we can control our food, our money, our schools. Because if you got a foreign group of foreigners controlling your school, money, all that, food, everything, you see what's going on. Y'all see what's going on. Some bullshit. We ain't got shit over here, but they sending 70, 70 trillion across the across seas, 40 trillion on military. 33 and on this going to uh, space stations and all this crazy shit. <clears throat> but the economy here, right here in this country, is in the negative, in, in debt. Every, every citizen got a social security number. So you a tax write off. So it's like this country ain't nothing but a big ass tax write off for these foreigners. They come over here without whatever up there. Half of them probably don't even, don't even live over here. Probably live across the seas. But they go and lobby our money and, and write checks for 70, 80 trillion to Ukraine and 
Iraq and Germany and whoever else needed Russia, whoever needed across seas. They've been doing this since I since I can remember. Because I'm telling y'all, these are foreigners running our government. And the reason we don't look at them like they invaders or foreigners, because they brought a God with them. They brought a God with them. And like I said, they've created a God that makes us look at God through them. Straight up. So we need to break that shit, man. PSA, man. We need more black people in power, for real.